What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round off what happened last time, uh, we defended Istanbul from a sallying or from an attacking Austrian stack and we also destroyed an army, a probing army, that was pushing in from the west. So now we have Mr. Mehmet, General Mehmet, who's going to take up his, take up his position here, ready to push into Serbia. Then we also have another force well, we have the original garrison force under Mr. Siri. Ahmed Siri, or General. <laughs> got Siri, and we've got uh, Topal Hamid, who is also moving up to engage these forces. We want to secure Bulgaria, then Serbia. That'll put us in a border with Poland, which may cause problems later on, especially looking at this territory up here in Crimea. Um. But I think in general things are going okay. Poland is... Well, the Ottoman... The Prussians are pretty damn powerful. Um, so, yeah. For now, I think I'm going to carry on doing what, I'm doing what I'm doing. We're also upgrading our dry dock. We're expanding our navy. Yeah, things are looking good. Things are looking good. I'm still waiting for the inevitable French counter-strike. Yeah, so the Austrians are pushing in from the west, but that's that's to be expected because they've been doing that, you know, uh, the whole the whole uh, the whole campaign. But I think I'm in a really good position now to be able to actually push and conduct offensive operations. Maybe even if my economy grows enough to help me allow it, uh, actually land some troops in the Adriatic and maybe uh, flank them slightly. That would be pretty neat. So you've been raided, that's okay. Because we all know knew it was coming. Ten grand down to 9,600. Okay, let's knock down our policies one level. How does that impact us? Not a huge amount. If I knock them down again, but not all the way for the upper classes, how does that impact us? Well, hasn't really... Usually the game is a, is a bit better at demonstrating these changes. So let's put Mr. Siri out of the city. Let's take... Unit of already out. And let's take a unit of... Maybe two units of Isseri out. Drop the guns in. We'll take one regiment out here. This guy can hop across straight. Pick up an army. And then he's out. This guy can stay in here. Um, there will be a small garrison here. Mainly because I can't depend on the AI not screwing me over. Nope. These guys are no longer... Oh no. You get into the city and let's stop recruiting one of those units. Eight grand to play with. It's a lot of wiggle room. Um, and I can probably take Mar uh, Patras now because I'm at war with. Well, I'm, more, I'm at war with Austria. Oh, they're, no, they're allied with, with Prussia. Don't need that hassle yet. Do not need that hassle yet. The Austrians also have territory in the Americas. So does Venice. The Mughals have been beasts and they've continued to push lots of pirate nations in America which would be nice to, uh, to take advantage of but the only easy way to do that is through the gulf let's make sure you're replenished and let's pick up the next military governor's barracks down here, let's try kill this priest nope. yeah, Mr. Mehmet has been obstructed Let's keep going with our investment program. So let's get iron fields. Let's get... Let's get our drill school, if anything, just to increase the number of research points for military techs. Because we do need to clear out this area to get a school built in Istanbul. I think that army is not going to be hard to defeat because mostly cavalry and second-rate infantry. 
you will be a bit trickier because you've got a bit more elite infantry and some cool looking cav. But we need to take Mr. Mehmet, push him up to Christoph Frommel, and engage. Because we know how, uh, well, you saw in the last episode where auto resolved a battle and I lost 800 men. 800 against a tiny army. Not this time, buddy. So. Got some good positions for artillery. Too bad we don't really need it because it's only a small army and because they'll have no choice I am happy to make them actually let's move this whole line a bit because they'll have no choice realistically um, I'm happy to force them to march into us. You know, one green of ground is to cover here, so let's make sure. Well, realistically, just spread out my cavalry. Let's give them two units of melee infantry, specifically to help protect the guns. Spread my bashies around. My main objective is to break them and then push in and destroy them when they're routing. Some good hits. Cavalry out, ready to pounce. And if these guys want to push around, that's okay. I'll just charge them around with my charge them down with my cavalry, even though they do look pretty neat. In fact, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Militia units and get shot to pieces by grape shot. Seventh regiment's already had enough. Let's run a cavalry unit through the gap. Let's march these guys up. Not, not too close. Continue to kill their troops. Pound them into dust. You guys pound them into dust. Even against Mephilim, they're enough. For you are just militia. General's been killed. It's all artillery fire. Damn right, we're going to continue. Austrian slaughter fun time. This is those those magnificent men and their slaughter machines. Exactly what this is. Sorry, any of my viewers from Austria who might not be who might not be super happy that I'm sat here going, "Yay, let's kill all the Austrians." 
Well, not all the Austrians, obviously, but in this game, you want to kill as many, many of the routing troops as you possibly can. In real life, you shouldn't kill anyone, because that's lame. I'm more anti-murdering people from a moral standpoint rather than the legal. The semantics of whether or not you should be able to doesn't really enter into it for me. So let's... Okay, A, none of them are over, are over there where you guys were going. They are all... One was over here and one was here. I'm like, look, see what they're doing. Is it because they're in a group? Wants to make them do some stupid formation stuff. More than likely, heroic victory. Yeah, against a uh, a small a small bundle of troops. Lost twenty two men for the destruction of their command. So spend don't, don't even need to spend any more money on resupply. It's pretty good. Don't worry, I'm gonna be after you, Sarajevo, soon. Yeah, Greece got a cannon foundry. Okay, got a cool grand. Yeah, we have a dry dock. Which gives us second rate ships of the line. Which is pretty damn awesome. So let's hit N10. They are gathering. Uh, a lot of their strength around Bulgaria. Which is why I'm tempted to push from the west to see if I can draw any of those forces away. Because that's four stacks of troops. I do hope Sweden doesn't have a beef with me. We're trading. We are allies. They have no reason to attack me. Yeah, and the Moroccans return. They've been off the coast of Cyprus for ten years now. <laughs> never, dealing to, never daring to sail onto its shores and touch foot onto solid ground. Always watching, interminably waiting. The Prussians have took Paris. Or have taken Paris. So one of the regions of the north will become pirates. Pirate land. Does France have any territory? They may have. No, they might be out. Where is it? A new nation arises. Afghanistan. France is gone. A new nation arises. Quebec. France is destroyed. So you got France, Louisiana, Quebec. Pirate regions. God. It'd be great to be over there now to take advantage of it, but sadly, that is not possible. I mean, it could be possible, but I'm very much concerned more about all these guys. March up. March straight to Sarajevo. Yeah, put it under siege. Or do I just take it and suck all these troops in? Or, because that's the gar okay, that's the garrison. This is that stack that's depleted. Hmm. Let's take them out. Let's push in and let's capture the territory. And then let's immediately fortify it. If I've got the catch, which I probably don't really. Hey, I've just got, I literally just got an email from Scan. My position in their queue for my Asus NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 10GB uh, Tough Gaming Ampere graphics card. I'm positioned in queue 153. Don't anticipate that changing very quickly in light of COVID. But all good things must come to those who wait. So let's just build a standard front line. A cavalry maybe. I might put them up 
somewhere up front to dash forward. I want to keep my melee troops. Um, and a unit of... Is that, actually, that might be... Is that three units of infantry I've got to play with? Good. They're in reserve just in case the AI does any stupid deployment tricks. So I'm pushing up my men just to make them move. The very first thing I did was get my cavalry charging in because their artillery or their position is completely undefended. New men start to engage the reinforcements coming in. My line is going to be set up to cut down the Shunda Provincial line. I'm not bothered about um, actually destroying them. My cavalry will do that. Just make them shatter. We're not going to have any follow-on battles, so I'm not overly concerned about longevity. No, you guys hold. You've got you've got complete defilade against um, enemy fire. Let's charge and let's turn firewall off. Let's redeploy my line. Let's get my cavalry over on the flank. Cavalry, the fourth light horse. And keep bombarding the first regiment of militia. Try to get my men to do some to fire on them before engaging combat. But these men don't have fire well on anyway. Oh, our gunners, oh, excellent shot! It's the Freikorps line infantry looking spectacular in their deep blue. the game started doing this like units will slowly trot away from the men they're attacking okay you get one more good charge then you're back to the front Get my camels in because it looks like we might be drawing all their cavalry into a big fight. So right now my Mamelukes are holding their own because this is my elite Mamelukes now, very experienced men. Much more melee attack, defence, and morale. But here's not what they're, here's what they're not expecting. The Ottoman Empire camels. Who's this pushing through the town? Hungarian Fusiliers. Okay, you guys pivot back to provide some support. You guys get back because there's also the Stem Union Provincial Lines reformed again. These men can now 
fire at will while our mobile contingent pulls back. Probably gonna get some friendly fire here. Fry Corps line infantry are marching in range. Carabina slightly outranged by infantry. Hungarian fusiliers have advanced. Oh, oh, you guys fire it well on. Cavalry is still in good condition. Push in. Charge with Feline support. Instead, just march my lines up like this. Square. Let's see if we can break it. Well, the infantry, charging melee infantry, will definitely break the square. Carabiners are routing, they're very unhappy. Let's get this in let's get this cavalry unit to charge back into their old friend again. Provide some close gunnery support. Because the militia, unfortunately, are not going to be alive for very long. Obviously, they didn't shoot as well as they didn't shoot as good, um, anywhere near as good as the enemy infantry. This is kind of why my battle plans don't really survive. Don't really, don't really aren't based around standing toe to toe with these guys. And where they are, we need to close the gap. Killing them. Good, now they're shattered. I'll go after that garrison provincial militia. Charge in to support the garrison guard attack. The Feline just push up. Run my cavalry along as well. It's the first regiment. I'm already utilizing my riskers of souls. Or any of my melee infantry, really. Well, the Ophelian musketeers, so. I'm not quite sure what your excuse is. Let's get the Bashi Bazooks in. Actually, no, no, I was about to get an old focus fire onto this unit, but obviously the Bashi Bazooks are charging in. Fortunately, these guys are firing well off, so they're not killing all those men. Oh. You think you can kill these men? You 
cannot. You don't have it in you. Yeah, we're going to continue because they have enemy forces in the... F you know, some of these aren't just garrison units. They are forces within the field. Let's speed up time. All my cavalry is currently engaged. You... Chase them down. least to minimize the number of units they're going to run around and raid my land. Okay, that's one guy left. He's right there. Kill the marines. These men are brave men, but not, they are not capable of killing men as men do. Oh, these guys are going to escape. Oh well. Oh no, they've decided to come back. Come on, cavalry. No, these guys are going to make it. No, they're not. They've been cut down. Two men. What? This guy's going to do it? No, he's not. This man has betrayed his unit. He has survived. He's betrayed so many of his men by running away from the line. The scoundrel. But that's an exchange ratio right there. Back you go. Why no chicken? So we have advanced and we have pushed up and intercepted our first target. And let's build some infrastructure. Let's make these people happy that we are here. I think I might go straight on to school building because these guys are really, they're pretty happy. Uh, Bow big in the dresser. So I think we might have to start uh, chewing up some of these guys. I think there's also likely to be a demand to keep a small contingency of reinforcements and to keep feeding into my troops because these guys are now quite stranded. But we've also cut off a lot of troops in this pocket. But it may make them more dangerous. Check my tech. One more turn till copper bottoms, which is great. Yep, so we've taken Serbia. Looks like some of their troops are just pulling out. They're reorganizing their men. Well, they're not completely cut off. They do have a, a route. Uh, they demand... A sec okay, mainly because they're enemies with Austria. Yes. Because Poland is not, is not realistically going to build up that much of a navy. Oh, that's concerning. Oh no, looks like they've landed and taken the Barbary States. Which I'm happy with. And I might want to actually go check my trade relations because now we've got a, f a few new countries involved, especially Afghanistan. They may be, we may be able to bring them into the fold. So, oh mate, there go the old, there go the Danes. Ah, 
so am I. Got an agent around here somewhere. You know that fat. One of our ministers has become pretty tough. Ah yes, I've got to check my swapping ministers around. Game plus one happiness. Okay, you're just a bit better in managing the navy. You'll do. So we've got copper bottoms. Uh, so instead, maybe go on to reformed naval administration to help get the top tier uh, buildings. Although we do have, if we can build a naval hospital, let's put our first second rate on the blocks. Awesome. I was intending to declare war on them this turn. Not declare war, but attack one of these armies, but not when they're so close together. Uh, minor nations. Afghanistan. Oh, weirdly, I got one of my little, my little lords here. Problems there, and for some reason they do not want to... Uh, don't want to be friends. They don't want to trade with me. Okay, how about... Can't trade with... Back. Can't trade, well, we're trading with everyone we can trade with at the moment. Okay, let's hit end turn again. Hopefully, some of those Austrian stacks head west rather than all clumping together. If they if they leave one out there, that would be perfect. Ooh, I think I definitely intercept them. But looking at the timer, I believe that's time to end the part. So. Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time for the destruction of a very small force led by Eugen Linz. Cheers everyone.